it was really nice. It's really nice to see that people are making products for anyone that has a hard time. All right, let me announce on Discord. Oh, <gasps> it changes based on your prog in the game. I love that. I didn't even see that. That's so cute. Hello? Billy? Hi. Hi, Bilbo. Speaking of Target, I don't know. I know that those of y'all that were in the beginning of the stream saw this, but Target got my gay money. This I found at Target. Like, it was 16 doll hairs and, like, you know, I know I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be feeding into corporations, you know, uh, trying to cash in on pride. But listen, this is great. <laughs> I love this so much. Billy, you want to test it? You want to be a demonstrator? Billy, come back. No, don't go. Come here. Bilbo. Billy, Billy, Billy. Would you like to be a demonstrator, Billy? Oh, hold on. Cord is tangled. Billy, can I reach? I'm gonna take off my. <laughs> Bilbo's coming out. He used it. Billy. Bilbo. He's already scared. He used he used the box. <laughs> yes, I did forcibly put him on there, but he used it. <laughs> Wait, there's LGBT mice? I want some. <laughs> Forgot what his name is. Yes, so it's a, so they have, they had two different ones. So they have like, um, I forget what the other one is, but yeah, it's basically a scratching post. So there's, the top is a scratching post and the inside is a, is a scratching post. So. And I don't have one in here, and Bilbo always tries to scratch my chair. So I was like, this is actually, this, this is fine. I'm happy with this. A rainbow doormat and two cups that say love is not a crime, which were designed by someone in the community. Oh, that's good. TV movie games. <laughs> All right, y'all. Sorry. Uh, with the I keep getting distracted. <laughs> Like I'm excited to play Xenoblade, but I keep being distracted with all of my all of my stuff. <laughs> um, cat post thing? Wait, what cat post thing? Like the tower? So I actually did get a tower. Oh, so so Bilbo and Kylo destroyed that. Cause like if you don't if you remember Rat, um that tower was actually for Zio. And once I got the two boys, they absolutely annihilated it. So we had to throw it away. But Alex did get from our community. Um, they got me a new tower. So I have to put that together. And I'll put it somewhere in here. I think. Or in the, I don't know. Depending on how big it is, I'll either put it in here or the living room. So. Okay. Anyway. Okay, Mystic. Tell Cooper I said hi. Xenoblade 2 time. Are we ready? Uh, quick recap. Wait, should I even recap? Like, cause it was the it was the intro, so like a lot of things happen. Like a lot of things. 
we met who I, I assume is the main character of the game, Rex. Um, and he is super adorable. And just, I feel like he's a bit different from Shulk. But he is, he's very, very adorable. Um, we met a bunch of other characters, so many characters. <laughs> um, but the most important character is Nia because she's, she's definitely my favorite currently. Um, I really like her. And uh, Rex has a, well, I guess not like a, an adopted grandpa. Um, things happened. He became essentially a, um, he died and then came back to life thanks to a new character introduced. Her name is Pyra and she is a, uh, what do you call it? A blade? He's a blade? He's a blade. So basically in Xenoblade 2, like there are these people that control other people. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right way to explain it. And they use them kind of like, it kind of reminds me of like puppets or something. Um, basically, oh, he's a driver. Okay, so she's a blade? Okay, there we go. Okay, so they kind of remind me of like, it kind of reminds me of a, of a bit like, like using puppets where you're like, Pyra is basically like telling uh, Rex, how to do the things and stuff. And he's now using, oh, I gotta sneeze. Excuse me. He's using this sword called the Aegis. We don't know really anything about it. Uh, it broke, but then it came back after he came back to life. And, <gasps> no, Dulcie! <laughs> no! Hopefully you didn't hear anything. Um. Yeah, hence Pyra's line when you increase affinity. Our emotions are in tune, Rex. Yes, yes. Uh, and some other really big things happened. Um, after that, uh, this is thing. It's bad things. Now, like Rex and and the gang are like on the run, essentially from these people that like what? Oh, I thought you were talking to me. Oh. It's a little warm, yeah, so I'm trying to, like, have airflow. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> uh, hopefully I'm ex- I'm, There was, like I said, I feel like the intro for Xenoblade 2 is a lot more jam-packed than, Xeno, than Xenoblade Chronicles. Like, it's- There's a lot. There's a lot that happened, so- yeah, anyway, um, now we are on our way to Cat People Village, from what I remember, so. He's using it, he's using on the inside. Good boy, Billy, Billy, good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Sorry. Personally, I think that the purchase was very, very important. I think it was great because because Kylo and Bilbo really like it. So, um, also, I was getting lost a lot because there's. I feel like I feel like the, what do you call it? The map system is a bit different than the first Xenoblade. Okay. So. Time to take you down. We can do this together. Ha! Mm, splendid. I could have done this blindfolded. Yeah, right. Yeah, probably. We're having leftovers for dinner, so I don't have to worry about dinner tonight. Let's show them a thing or three. Stay in your toes. Ha! Ha! Yeah! Our emotions are in tune, Rex. I like, I like the music here. It's pretty. Let's show them a thing or three. Stay in your toes. Let's keep this up and we'll win for sure. My thoughts exactly. Yeah, Mila, that's kind of what I figured. Like, I know that everything was improved with the definitive edition. So I definitely get that. No. 
We lost the upper hand. Let's keep this up and we'll win for sure. The pacing like is faster. Yeah, and I definitely like I didn't mind the intro for the first game. They should get one. Um yeah. But yeah, this one was very like bam, bam. Like things just happened right, right from the get go within like the first hour. Cause I think I only played for like two hours. So I think it's really impressive that so much happened within two hours. It really grabs you right from the beginning. So. Do y'all think that they'll make like a definitive edition for Xenoblade 2? Heck is this? Oh wait, that's right. Collection come out, points. Come out. Another five years. Well, you know, maybe they also, uh, maybe they made the definitive edition for the first Xenoblade just because it came out on the Wii and. I, I heard from people that it was really hard to find a copy of the Wii version. Treasure trove. Blades field skills. Okay. There's no need to despair. If you develop your blades and help them to acquire field skills from the affinity chart, someday you'll be able to... Oh, so I guess I can't open this right now, probably. Your own mind. Calm your mind. Oh wait, she needs. Your own mind. Calm your mind. Okay, so she needs focus. I guess is what she's missing. You have a sealed copy of all of of the Wii one. That's amazing. Wii version isn't Panzer Dragoon Saga levels of rare, but it's up there. Wow, that's that's wild. That Let's is wild. Make sure you got my tail rex. <clears throat> Let's keep this up and we'll play for sure. Splendid. I could have done this blindfolded. Okay. Would y'all say that it's down. it's important for me to oh, uh to grind as well? Like, basically, don't skip too many enemies and try and, you know, fight as much as I can. Let's show them a thing or three. We can do this together. Oh, I need someone with lock picking. Okay. Hi, Benny. Ha! Our emotions are in tune, Rex. I like your attitude. No! We lost the upper hand. A lot of graphic upgrades. Yeah. Xenoblade Definitive Edition looked so good. I call upon the power of fire. Make sure you apply the side quest XP at the oh at hotels. Okay. I forgot about that that mechanic. Okay, bring it on. No one owned a Wii U. Listen. I owned a Wii U. I actually, at one point, I actually had three Wii U's. I, I got like a regular Wii U at launch and then they came out with the Wind Waker Wii U and then I got that one as well. Wait, I think it was Wind Waker. Hi, Sassy. Probably, yeah. I know it didn't do well. I actually really liked that system, but like, I I know that I know that it had it it had its issues, but I don't know. I think my favorite thing about it was what they did with the community. Sassy, thank you so much for eight months. I appreciate that. Where would you like to put those five votes? Oh my gosh, look at her face. She's so cute.
Gourmet Province. Whoa. Yeah, this is great. Especially after slumming it on Gramps' back for so long. <laughs> <laughs> it served you well enough. Over there, that's Torigoth, biggest city in Gormod. I'll accompany you as far as the city. After that, I'm afraid you're on your own. Oh, on our own? We don't show it of on course. stream, okay? Don't dox us. I would have thought even you'd know why I can't be seen Cool. With you. Because you're supposed to be one of them. I haven't known them very long. But you know, they're still my crew. Y your crew? Even after they tried to kill you? That's as may be. But they're the closest thing I have to a family. Oh, poor baby. Maybe. Right, let's go. Poor meow meow. Mommy Ning Wong, let's go. She's almost at a hundred votes. Like, I know that Rosaria is absolutely killing it right now, but we still have until Friday, so who knows? Who knows? Mango, I wish. I love art books, and I would, I would love to have those art books. But yeah, I know that, like, the chance is very fat. Fat? Low? <laughs> it's a very low chance of me getting those art books. Thin. <laughs> uh, right, it's time for your first big hike to Torogoth. Around this point, you'll want to start paying attention to the level of trust between blade and driver. Trust is a vital resource that you need to unlock levels on your blade's affinity chart. So if you want to maximize the support that you get from your blade, you need to make winning their trust a priority. Oh, complete a quest. Okay, so it's like uh, the first Xenoblade when completing side quests, you'd get affinity with them. Um, Affinity bonds will shine with a golden color when they're at their height. Right now, I'd say it's about time we set off for Torgoth. Okie Hi, Merely. The way I opened Google Chrome twice to open your stream and then got distracted both times. What were you doing? You can learn stuff from them. Yeah, like I'm not an artist, but I appreciate art so much. And especially from from series I really love. There is a near art book that I am this close to buying. I think I'm I'm actually gonna get it. But it's it's beautiful. I'll have what to I know that Jer is probably lurking, but I'll have to send it to Jared too, because I know Jer is a humongous fan of the series. Cause I don't know if he has it. Oh, <gasps> did y'all see? Look at the jumping in the water. Very cute. Oh, that's that's really pretty. Okay, wait. Is it just me or does Garanti Plane? It kind of sounds like almost very similar to Gower Plane. Like it, it has the same type of vibe. Let's show them a thing or three. We can do this together. I love that. Ow. Let's keep this up and we'll win for sure. Splendid. I could have done this blindfolded. I paid my tuition, then I had to make sure my grandparents' info was updated for their trip on Wednesday. Oh. Wait, where are they going? You have more of the 14 art bugs? Yes. 
Can we be Welsh Meow Meow's new family rights? Can I control Nia? I don't know. Um, actually, I do a lot of like leveling and stuff when I get to town, so I'm gonna do that when I get to towns, like looking at all of their stuff. So I forget how to. Is it customize? Two. Change order. <gasps> we can ride. We are riding. We we are riding. Just do what we always do. Don't run in blind, my lady. Hey, we defect. So cute. Hi, UK. How are you? Oh god, I'm not used to her auto attacks, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to like time it that well for a while. Ooh, her heal is cool. I still don't know what's going on with the, with the combat, but I think it's gonna take me a while to really understand what the hell is going on. <laughs> but I feel like with I feel like with this combat for this game, I feel like I might end up liking it more than Xenoblade, like the first one. Just because there's, it seems like there's a lot to do. Like there's a lot to like pay attention to, and it's it seems like it's a bit more interactive. You rewatched uh, Xenoblade Two on my VOD. I still need to make. I haven't made a collections yet for Xenoblade Two, but I'll be doing that today after stream. Ready for action. Wait. This area is so pretty, isn't it? It's like playing a dancer in 14. Oh shoot, I'm moving a bunch again. Cool. Seal blow down. Why not? Cheers for that. We can hit them where it hurt. I've waited for this all day. Oh, cool. So you can actually activate their stuff too. Like your other party. I probably learned that before, but you know. Ready to attack. Feast upon this. So raging tiger. Sure. Cool. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, oh, I need to go this way. I'm like going the wrong way. This is an area where I excel. Um, they're going back to their home country for a while. They go back for a couple. Oh, awesome. Hey, look what I found. Congratulations. Congratulations. Quick, while we have the advantage. I'm counting on you. Hey, they defected it. So her, so she has like a, 
what do you call it? Her like element thing is is water, I guess. Let me do it. Okay, watch this. Hydro, yes. I love that she's dancing. It's so cute. Ah, shoot. I have missed time that. I missed it! Shoot. <laughs> oh, it's drill marks. Okay. Just keep wailing on him. We'll make it do Just keep wailing on him. Yeah, I feel like well, another thing too with Xenoblade 2, I, I felt like there is a lot of information, like overload in the beginning. So I feel like with, with me, I'm definitely more of like a hands-on learner that I need to actually like, like do the thing until I actually pick it up. So. And I don't mind them giving me information, but it's like, I, it's a lot. Like there's a lot in the beginning, so. Oh shoot, I'm dying. I guess these are level 12. Oh boy, I'm gonna definitely die. I can still Yeah, I think well they're level twelve too, so yeah. I gotta be careful. I swear. All right, we'll we'll not fight those ones. We could probably do this level ten. Actually, hold on. This is an area where I excel. Quick! Will we have the advantage? Swear. It's a thing of beauty once you figure it out. I think that's. I think that's what majority of people have told me that at first it's kind of overwhelming, but like once you've got it down, it's like really great. is killing me. I think it's so cute. Died from fall damage and the blade with just landed lying down. Oh my god. Um this way. Nia says, sure. <laughs> Shulk. Let 
Excellent. Healing during battle in Doodle 2, it's mostly you picking up the green potions you make drop, which is an interesting approach. Oh, okay, so when you're hitting something, then it drops green potions? Hey, look what I found! Congratulations! Just do what we always do. Okay, cool. I actually wasn't aware that stuff was dropping. Yeah. Is there something that triggers that? Excuse me. Hi, Iro. Jaguar slash drops a potion. Okay. Hey, shy guy. Welcome in. Early game healing. Okay. So I guess stuff changes later. This is an area where I excel. heals an aching soul. Is there a way to um, zoom out like you could in Xenoblade uh, Chronicles, or no? Oh, wait, he's so cute! <laughs> Bilbo, when he's being a handsome boy. Press L, press L. Oh my goodness, wait, hold on. I guess it doesn't really work that well. Like, I mean, it's not... I'm just gonna zoom back in. Not me G-posing in... <laughs> in another game. Hey, Optic! Just do what we always do. I'll handle it. More games need G-Pose, honestly. I just found the shiniest trinket. You want to see? Hey, Nia? Yeah, yeah, I'll check it out, Lita. I'll check it out, Lita. No, no, that. Yeah! The left stick and right to elevate the camera. Oh, okay, cool. I do assume that I will probably be taking a lot of pictures of this game, too. <laughs> like I did with with uh, Xenoblade Chronicles. This is an area where I excel. Oh, look at that waterfall. So pretty. This is a very pretty game. Hey, Scott. Yes. Today is Map Monday in Final Fantasy XIV in the FC. So uh, I did make an event, actually in discord since we do it in like we use discord um i think we actually have a full party so and uh just a heads up too i do try and keep it fc only so okay hang on a moment guys is it just me or is the cloud sea level higher than it was before i think you're right guess it must be what they call high tide 
The cloud sea level changes because of the Gormot Titan walking through it, right? Uh, at times, the clouds reach scarcely up to the Titan's ankles. While at other times, like below, the clouds are around its belly. With the clouds at this height, I guess we won't be able to get back to the place where we made camp. Indeed, the, that area will be submerged beneath the clouds. But the Titan's always moving, so I'm sure the clouds will be lower again sooner or later. Quite right. I'd heard about stuff like this, but it's kind of amazing seeing it firsthand. You don't get phenomena like this in Argentum or in Lotharia, that's for sure. Alras really is a big place. Alright, that's enough gopping. Let's get going. Tori Goth is so close, I can smell it. <clears throat> um, last week we didn't get any feathers, no. We got we got pretty unlucky last week, actually. Hi, bookworm! Happy Monday, how are you? Much, much stronger. Exactly. I agree, Shadow Scorpion. More games do need G pose. Only take screenshots. Oh wait, this week you need you need a piece of armor, Scott? Oh, okay. Top right corner, if the cloud sea level is shown above the medium line, it means the clouds are at high tide. Conversely, if it's below the medium line, it means the clouds are currently at low tide. Interesting. So I guess that basically means that when areas are high tide, then you can't explore it, right? I'm guessing is what it's basically saying. Hi, Spoon! <laughs> Spoon, you're going through it, so. And arrived. <laughs> so, this is Torogoth. It hasn't changed a bit. Do you? It's nothing. Okay then. I'll show you to an inn. What happened to her? I want to give Nia a hug, but I'm sure she'd like get mad at me for touching her. <laughs> I drink all my tea already. Mm. The Nomura character. <laughs> what the bloody hell is this? Why'd they make her look like that? A remarkable likeness, to say the least. Oi, did you see some of this? No. I fear they may have conflated our countenances, my lady. <laughs> How very awful. <laughs> oh my god. Spy, who has the courage to heed the Empire's call? Your <laughs> strong heart today will build a strong, more ordained tomorrow. Of course, you get more than a salary. Pension and benefits are included. Distinguish yourself. And you could even join the nobility for the glory of the Ardanian Empire and his majesty, Emperor Niall. Come now. Who wants to be the hero of tomorrow? Hmm. What's the deal over there? Driver recruitment. Driver recruitment? Recently, they've been recruiting drivers from all over. The pool of potentials is ever shrinking. They must have run out of candidates in the military. What do you mean by potentials? I'm not sure I follow. Just see for yourself. Don't do it, bro. It's too dangerous. What will we do if something happens to you? Oh, look after us. They're so tiny and cute. Oh, my God. I, I know it's dangerous, but if I can be... Become a driver. 
Out of the way, Dipsqueak. Rude. Ooh, your Come toes on. are ugly. Come Get a pedicure. On, Show me what you got. Yeah, he's done for. Indeed. That's what he gets. Wait, did he actually die? Oh, bark and no bite. <clears throat> oh, oh, that's so sad. So anyway, couldn't handle the core crystal's power. That's what happens when someone unqualified touches a core crystal. Truly lamentable. Wait, you need a qualification to be a driver. Perhaps aptitude would be a better word. Aptitude. No! Is there nobody else here ready to test their strength for the glory of the Empire? Oh, how about you? What say you? Stand no! Start with bold hearts! No! Don't, don't worry. Your big bro's gonna be a driver. And then we'll be set for life. Oh my god. Don't do it! <laughs> There's your aptitude. Oh, cool. Um. Crystal turned into a weapon. That's actually really that cool. Is how blades are born, Rex. What? But when I touch Pyra's, she's a special case. Pyra's the Aegis, remember? So the usual rules don't apply. All that business with sharing her life force, it's not exactly normal. Wait, what does the Aegis even mean? Jin and Malos, they called her that too. Dunno. All I know is that it's some kind of legendary blade. Why don't you just ask her yourself? <laughs> Let's go. No point sticking around for the enrollment ceremony and all that boring stuff. Okay, but I want to recommend the boob sweat powder to Pyre. I feel like she probably needs it. Okay, you've arrived in Torigoth, Gormoth's largest settlement. So now is a good time to talk about developing towns. Wait! Towns in Alrest are rated according to their level of development. This is called their development level, or dev level for short. The town's development level can be raised by earning dev points. When a town's dev level goes up, then you can expect the price of goods and shop. Oh, cool! So you can actually develop towns like you could with Colony 9 in, um, in the first one. But like it's just all of them. Is it's similar, similar to that? Hi, Kupo. How are you? <laughs> Does she need help applying the boob sweat powder? <laughs> yeah, like her bussy is all out. <laughs> Pyra, if you need a help you know, with support, um, with applying boob sweat powder. We got you. We are here. Okay, so they'll expand their ranges and sell never before seen products. You can earn dev points by completing quests and resolving residence difficulties. It's also possible to earn a few dev points just by talking to people you meet. Oh, cool. Oh my God. I feel like I feel like I'm going, like this is going to consume me. Town development type stuff, I just love it. New products, okay. You skip travel to head back to Argentum and see the goods, okay. Um. Oh, 
<laughs> you can rely on your friends. <laughs> uh, hey, I have boobas. Welcome in. I actually, honestly, I don't really mind the English voice acting. Um, I think it's actually, I think it's actually really entertaining. So I personally don't have an issue with it as of right now. There was that definitely with Rex's screaming, that was something. But so far, I'm actually okay with the majority of the voice acting. So. Okay. Cool. I love it. I don't know if anyone in here played Dark Cloud, but I have been waiting, or not waiting, but I've been looking for a game that's similar to Dark Cloud's like gameplay. It's very different, but essentially it was an RPG where you can also develop towns. You could like build towns and stuff. Um, and it was really great. So anything with town development really reminds me of Dark Cloud and I absolutely love that game so much. Yeah, it's, I feel like Dark Cloud is probably a bit dated now, just because it's, like, I, I think about it, and I think anybody trying to play it now would probably be like, why would I play this? But, like, I, I don't know, it's special to me. It's one of my favorite games. I love it so much. There's a spiritual successor to Dark Cloud out there? What is it? Um, wait, what is this? Oh, this is trading, I guess. Morning. Let us face the day with a renewed vigor. You gain affinity just from buying buying art. I don't know if I want to if I want to waste my money right now just because I don't I don't have very much right now. Music? Wait, you can buy the themes? Can you listen to them? Oh, it's pouch items. Oh, okay. Dark Cloud for the first time she loved it, but she loved retro games in general. Dark Cloud is really good. It's it's truly it is so special to me. Rogue Galaxy. Oh, hold on. Let me like take note of that. Um, Nino Kuni two. I have I played the first one, but I haven't played the second one, so I'm gonna have to check that out. Actually, my cat, my oldest cat, Zio, she's actually named after a character from Dark Cloud. Okay, rings. I think I'm gonna buy some rings. Please, please let me equip them from the menu. Please, oh, that's a lot of money. Yes, thank you, I appreciate that. Hi, Kate, how are you? Wait, did I look at, did I look at the blacksmith? Oh wait, hold on, they're chips? Oh, the one that's the, the mobile game? Wait, this is, I just, I just bought from here. There, well, there's a there's a new Nino Kuni mobile game that I've heard of, but I haven't actually checked it out at all. Oh, they upgrade your weapons. Okay. Do we know? Well, I I, I assume that a lot of y'all probably know, but does anyone know? Like, it, it, does everyone just use these stats, or are there certain stats that I should be, like, prioritizing for characters? Amazon is in front of my house, and I forget what we ordered, but they're, <laughs> get, they're, they have a lot of boxes. <sighs> Dark Chronicle Rogue Galaxy before it decided it was going to be its own. Oh, cool. 
Yeah, I'm gonna check out Rogue Galaxy and maybe I'll play it on stream because I'll probably like freak out because it's Dark Cloud's one of my favorite games. That was you. They have a, like, the person trying to get our stuff is struggling. Like, they are, like, trying to figure out how to carry all the boxes. It's really funny to watch. <laughs> it, maybe it's a bit embarrassing. <laughs> he was, like, he was, like, putting, like, all the boxes, and then he was, like, looking at them for a second, and then, like, I, he was trying to figure out how to carry all them. What is, what is this? What? Mm. It's on sale right now. How much is it? A, a game that's like um, Dark Cloud. Seven fifty. That's this cheap. whole thing with core crystals. Touching them to create blades. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. We blades start out formless, anchored to the world only by our core crystal. Only the touch of a potential can imbue us with form and being, and it is by those forms we come to be known. So you see, my boy, in some ways it is only the fated touch of a driver that allows the blades to exist at all. Wow. Why does it happen that way, though? Now, that is something no one knows. It's just how it's always been. Blades come in all shapes and sizes. Some human-shaped, some not. Some people say the shape depends on the kind of person the driver is. The resonance between blade and driver is a mysterious thing. Does that mean that Rex? She was crying when I met her. That Rex was made up life by someone once. The way that Pyra looks, or no? Well, actually, no. We saw her before he he what died. <laughs> so really, halt! Nobody move. Oh dear! Looks like. Imperial Look at her! Great. Looks like a kitty. Hey, what's going on? That fugitive in your company is an enemy of the state, a member of Torna. A member of Torna. A member of Torna. It's her, all right. Gormothy Driver, White Beast Form Blade. She looks exactly like the wanted poster. No, she what doesn't. <laughs> Tip yourself. <laughs> Really does. Stop! Oi, watch it. Uh, I mean, no way. This doesn't look anything like. Wait, we've got no time for this. Oh no, it doesn't look anything like it. <laughs> <laughs> now, as for you, you look like a driver too. Registration number five three nine. Did he just make that up? Knock it off, you fool! All new drivers must register with Endor. No number means you must be an illegal, unregistered driver. Oh, not this. No, you don't get it. You're coming with me. We'll see what the console has to say about this. Rex, Dromak and I are going to make a move. Get ready to run. We're not leaving No. This is our problem, not yours. I'm pretty sure he wants to arrest all of us. So this is my problem too. Sheesh, you're a stubborn one in you. Gramp says the same thing. <laughs> okay, we go on three. We'll go left, you go right. Okay. Just get the word. Okay, let's do this. You, you, you're going to resist? Seriously? One, two. Oh, all right, men. We've got them outnumbered. Move in and take them down. Three. <laughs> You're technically not a driver. Yeah. Hi, V. The little pride fell. I have, um, hold on. 
It's actually a cat scratcher. I got it from Tarjay for 16 doll hairs. Highly recommend. They did, they did, unfortunately, they got my gay money. I fell into big companies wanting to get the gay money, but worth it. Because the cats love it. <laughs> All right, cancel attacks. If you ex execute an art at the precise moment that an auto attack connects, a ring of light will appear around you. Okay, I've done that. Your cancel attack, wait, what? Uh, okay, be more effective than an art executed normally. Um, also, the recharge gauge will fill up faster afterwards. Back to the cancel attack will increase at the stage of the auto attack, so try to execute it on the third blow to get the most. Okay. You're done! Xenoblade music makes good savage prog music. Oh, does it? A <laughs> dark gay for Jude. Yeah. Eat this! Oh no, I didn't do it fast enough. Oh wait, okay, I see, they're dropping potions. Grab, 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 grab. Oh, she summons Aqua! I'm a measly two fighter. Their drivers are right. Rex, no! You got it. Oh, a wall made of fire. Such a commotion. Just mommy, sorry, mommy. <laughs> Oh my god, Bridget. Oh, um. Oh no, I fell. Um. I can no longer fight. If you could just hit me. Oh, don't hit me, I mean. Don't do it. Oh no. Pyra's so pretty. Captain Padre, you are not to kill them. Take these ones in alive. Roger. Men, bring me your note, Oh my god, we got the side boob and every oh my god. So Bridget, um, I have this new stuff called Bust Dust for anti-boob sweat. Um, with lavender and aloe, no talc, no parabens. I was wondering if you need help applying it. Um I'd be more than help, like happy to help with that. Like, you know, moving around a lot, like I feel like you would probably <laughs> need it. <laughs> um, you just let me know, girl. I got you. <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna have a really hard time playing this game if all of the characters look like this. The way I don't know who to hit right now. <laughs> she probably sweats quite a bit. We could offer her the powder, exactly. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I just 
wow, this um, this game's really important to me already. Uh, the indicator the arrow is pointing at right now represents a combo request from a blade currently engaged. Okay. Uh, okay, so I was already doing this, the, the heat thing. Be able to extend a blade combo that's currently in progress. Have a mass impact on those. Okay, got it. It's the mommy edition. I'm absolutely here for that. Truly. Wow. Actually, I'm gonna attack the captain. I don't know who to attack. <laughs> You're done! Oh god, oh god. Listen, I'm very distracted. Rest a while. We're gonna need a lot of luck on our side. Shulk, stand up and fight. It does sound like she's saying Shulk. Double spinning edge. Yeah. A miss. Will of yeah. the Witch. Decisive blow. Rising end. Rising dragon. Kind yeah. of stuck here. I was actually really close. <laughs> <sighs> You've been waiting for this exact moment all day for me to lose it over over a fictional character again. <laughs> it's fine. We'll get him yet. Oh my god. Don't push yourself too hard. Oh no. Wait a minute. Hold up. Did it not save? Wait, why am I looking at... Oh, it... It does... Oh, okay. All right. So I... So I'm good then. Like, I mean, it it did save or whatever. Hold on. That's what you get if you keep at it. Call on me anytime. Cool. Step outwards, step inwards. My power ever grows. You start back at a landmark. Okay, cool. I was excuse me, I wasn't sure because I didn't save prior to that that fight, so I was worried. Um I guess I'll modify this. So is modifying, is it basically just like upgrading a weapon that you have or? I actually don't have a lot of points. I'll do this one. Uh, auto attack? It's just equipping weapons. Okay. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll save. Spawns. Okay, so... I, th I think someone mentioned this actually, that this this move actually did spawn an HP potion. Okay, cool. 
I'm gonna do this one. And then we'll also do this one. Wait, hold on. Well, didn't realize that she had uh, positionals. <laughs> the more you know. Wait, did I? Oh, it wasn't equips. I was wondering. I was like, I haven't seen that on the thing. Okay, so... Maybe I shouldn't actually equip that one right now, though. Because, like, I feel like I probably need these two. Yeah. Okay, so you can only have three. So... You only ever get four. All right. Cool. Wait, what's this one? Ether damage taken. And then she has her own pouch, okay. I've been worked in one of these. <laughs> the way she says it's very cute. Personally, I just really love her already. Pouch items are ge genuinely super important. Okay, cool. <coughs> yeah. Um, just a heads up, y'all, I definitely don't mind mechanical tips, so if there's something that I'm doing that I'm, like, doing incorrectly, feel free to be like, hey, Lori, you gotta do it this way. Like, y you know, that's totally fine. Um, I don't mind mechanical tips. Or mechanical, like, backseating or whatever. But anything else, please no. <laughs> okay, um, I think I'm gonna put... I mean, like, her focus is on, like, healing, right? Yeah, no spoilers, too, obviously. Please, no spoilers. Oh, hi, Mystic! So, Mystic, um, we got something in the mail. I don't know if you want to see Mallory's reaction right now. So, so putting dexterity on her is not good, or... So I probably shouldn't put the gloves on her then. I should probably put it on like... I should probably put it on him instead. Oh wait, it's accuracy? Well, how about I'll put strength on him instead. How do I... How do I get to the second slot? Or... How to be good at it? Press right? I, I am. Hit back once. Oh wait, there we go. Okay. Two of these? Or wait, did I not? You know what? It's fine, that works. <laughs> that works. Increases the HP restored when reviving a teammate. Oh, allows use. I don't have enough to unlock that though. Maybe I'll do ether. Hey, we didn't do half bad. We didn't do half what? <laughs> what, did, what did she say?
I don't have enough for that. We'll do. Wait, hold on. We'll do. We'll do this That's one. about that. I think. I think the voice acting is great. I really, actually, do like it. <laughs> That's about that. Okay, we did some stuff. I'm going to save. All right, let's try let's try the fight again <laughs> and see what happens. I like how they're just politely waiting for me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're so hot, Bridget. Watch I'll handle it. She is for that. Abandon all hope. You're done! We did it! Rex is going through it. Rex, are you good? Tough. Sure. Really? Yay! Still getting stronger. Yeah. What? She she repelled our attack. She's so strong. Mm. And this is without a driver. Stop yammering. Just get her. Oh, she... Oh, no! I love Nia, but clearly she's very impulsive. Wait till you use your precious arts when you can't draw ether from the atmosphere. Even blades have weaknesses. This is one such weakness. Without the flow of ether, blades are quite useless. Nia, draw mark! Get out of you, Rex! Save yourself! I'm not going to do that. I can't just leave you here. You've got your own mission. Just move it. Yeah, but... No bets. Go. Rex, we must withdraw for now. No. But... You won't escape. You know, I just thought about it now, and she has a very, very, like, Hades aesthetic. Oh! that we left her. I miss her already. Hey, hey. This way! Friends, come this way! Tora help you escape! Who are you? Quick! No time for explain! <laughs> it's a precious baby. Thanks. You saved us. But I gotta ask, 
Why? No reason. No reason. Sorry, that not true. <laughs> Truth is, Tora not like those big bully soldiers. Was thinking to test out shiny new boom biter on big bullies. That's when Tora see friends running from them. Boom biter missed and hit water pipe. But results not so bad, hey? That was him? Oh. So you shot the pipe. That right. What a good baby. And you're Tora. I'm Rex. And this is Pyra. It's so lovely to meet you. <laughs> Good to meeting. <laughs> huh? Oh, actually, Tora have other reason for save you. Which is? Don't worry. Explain everything when get to House of Tora. This way. Good to meeting. <laughs> yes, I would like to come back for Bridget too. Definitely. Right, so cute. Never got far in Hades. Yes. Hades Hades is, ve is a very good game as well. You're done. <laughs> That's so cool that they made a reference to, P to Pyra's final smash and ultimate, right? It's very kind of them to, you know, make a game just for, just for her. Truly. The boy and his blade, who seemed to be working with them, got away. But we apprehended the girl from the wanted poster along with her blade. The town is once again safe or... Say, Padre, do you remember what my orders were? Sir? I told you to capture the blade with the Emerald Core Crystal, Ooh. did I not? Do you recall me ever telling you to capture some little girl with barely a bounty on her head? But, sir, she's a member of Torna. I'll say it slowly for you, just so we're clear. Get the blade with the emerald. Um, console do I like how there's clapping in the background what? of the song. I'm or like a clapping exactly sound. I'm not sure what color emerald is supposed to be. Oh no. Oh, give me strength. Green, <laughs> you idiot. Emerald is green. Like this. Green. Get it, ya clod? Oh, green. I get it now. So emeralds are green. Huh. You dunderhead! How many blades <laughs> do you see with green core crystal? It's patently obvious. How do you mix that blade up with some worthless cat monster? Wow, rude. Actually, sir, technically, I believe that's a tiger rather than a science. Ah. <laughs> Console. What is it? Haven't you heard them knocking? My apologies, sir. It's just that Lady Morag has. What? Special Inquisitor Morag has just arrived from the motherland. Already? Her ship has just gone. Look, this, this cannot be happening. Why is going on? <laughs> His polygons are showing. He probably plays too much Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh no, not this. <laughs> no door exists. <laughs> there really wasn't a door. Why is everyone so attractive? Like, honestly. You live down here. This just back door, front entrance over there. Why did he say it like you live, Makes you live sense. like this? <laughs> Whoa, is that the cloud sea down there? 
We're so high up. Nice view, eh? Tora likes to just sit and watch Cloud Sea sometimes. Oh. You have a wonderful home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, Rex Rex. Rex Rex. Rex Rex. Rex Rex. Tora, explain other reason I help you. You see, Tora always wanted to make driver friends. Oh my god. Ah, interested in drivers, are you? But of course. Tora think it's amazing how Driver and Blade join spirits together to make big power. Tora really want to be sidekick of Rex Rex. Oh! Um, you know my name is just Rex, right? One Rex, not two. What is point? Well, nothing, <laughs> I guess. It just sounds a bit different from what I'm used to. Double name just show Tora's respect. Respect for great driver. Is that it's what that means? Proud. I'm not sure I've earned all that yet. So that's why Ricky said Dun Dun? Oh, all right. You can call me Rex Rex if it makes you happy. But instead of all this sidekick stuff, can't we just be friends? Really? Tora will be friend of Rex Rex? I'm... I'm... <laughs> what a funny little guy. Hey, Tora. Do you know much about this town? Huh? You wouldn't happen to know where the army takes prisoners, would you? Rex, you're not planning to. We have to save Nier and Dromark. I thought you would say that. Oh, you talk about Driver and Blade who were with Rex Rex before Tora's daring rescue. Yeah. Meh meh. Meh meh. To ask around town for info like that. Before we do anything, time for food! All of today's running around make Tora hungry. Need food to help Rex Rex. <laughs> I'm a little peckish too. Can't we eat later? I want to find Nier and Dromok as soon as possible. <laughs> Stomach of Rex Rex tell different story. I, I can't help it, can I? Rex, it's okay to eat. If it's alright with everyone. I could cook something. Excuse me? Ira, I didn't know you could cook. She can cook? <laughs> well, as long as fire is involved, I can do almost anything. Fry, steam, grill, you name it. Okay, Whoa. but setting stuff on fire doesn't mean you can cook. If you want ice cream, though, <laughs> you might have to find someone else. <laughs> well, you can't have everything. Never go adventuring on an empty stomach. So true. Oh my gosh. See, that like changes so much. I mean, like, because you, you never like know why uh, Ricky says um, Dun Dun like that. Like, because like he calls Melly a Melly, but like, you know, you never know why. So like if I guess if when they do that, that means respect. So that's so freaking cute. I love that so much. Oh my God. Also very different. Tora is very different from Ricky who was calling everybody his sidekicks. Whereas Tora is like, I just want to be a sidekick. <laughs> okay. Tora, do you have any ingredients I could work with? Just what in the pantry there? Not, not much really. How, what do you eat Tora? It doesn't seem wise to go out and buy more supplies, so we'll just have to make do with what we have. Let's see what we got then. Shulk is real, Hero Pawn. Huh? I named my warrior of light after Melia, so I generally call her Melly too. Really? <gasps> I didn't know that, Kubo. This was ordained by fate. Long had I foreseen it. Sir Nuri, thank you so much for four months. I appreciate that. Where would you like to put your votes for Pick My Main? Characters in the bottom left. Looks survival focused and goal oriented. Yeah. He's just a regular ass. I, but I love Tora already. I like Ricky. Well, I mean, we just met Tora, but I feel like, I feel like I'm gonna like Tora a lot. He seems, he seems like a really good baby. All right, glitter spuds, sumpkins. Oh, and here's an oil oyster and a single meaty carrot. And hot oranges, too. These aren't bad ingredients at all. Hot oranges. <laughs> all foods that can be eaten with no cooking. That's how Tora usually eat. 
I feel so bad. He doesn't know how to cook. We aren't much better ourselves, you know. I guess you're right. So what do you think, Pyra? Can you make anything with this? Yes, I think this should be enough. I'll just use the kitchen, okay? Okay. We're gonna we're gonna do some cooking, I guess. I just thought of a great menu idea. Look forward to that later. Cool. Glitter bake. That does not sound good. Oh man, this is delicious. Oh, yum, yummy. So super, very tasty. Simply what is that? It looks like pizza well and pancakes. Years. <laughs> Glad you liked it. It seems like I did okay. I was worried I'd have gone a little rusty over the years. It didn't taste rusty at all. Uh, um, I mean... But Tora is curious. Pyra is fire using blade, yes? Pyra really Tora said, yes, I do the cooking. Fire yes, I do the cleaning. Fire. Come to think of it, you're all right. That Bridget, the Imperial Blade, she used fire abilities just like Pyra, but the wood seemed to douse much of her strength. So, what are you saying? This world full of elemental energy called ether. He's so cute! Ether comes in forms like fire, water, and wind. While battling, drivers and blades both draw power from ether. But fire not good with water. Other blade woman got splooshy with water, so <laughs> splooshy. fire powers all dumb. But Pyra and I were able to use our powers with no problem. Indeed. They were unaffected. Why? Um, well, my powers don't come from fire. Meh meh? If powers not fire, why look like flames? That may be a little complicated to explain. Go on then. Tora like complicated things a lot. What? <sighs> Why do you like complicated well, things? Um, uh, 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 it... Knock it off, Tora. Can't you see you're making her uncomfortable? What? Everyone has things they'd rather not talk about. Right? Does I'm she really sorry. not want to talk about it? I'm sure. I'll be able to tell you about it soon enough. Okay, interesting. Don't worry about it. Right now, we need to think about how to rescue Nia. First, we go around town and find all information we can. Hmm. Yes, I dare say that we're all wanted criminals by this point. Pyra sticks out like a sore thumb. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, friends. Tora has an idea. Special Inquisitor Morag! To what do we owe this extreme pleasure? Had we but heard of your grace's visit, we could have prepared a suitable... I don't stand on ceremony, Consul. I'd rather you just did your job. Y your grace? Someone of your standing deserves to be treated as such. You are his majesty's representative. Please permit us to lay on a meal befitting your grace. Until then, we would be honored if you made impressive time. Oh my I goodness! Expecting you until tomorrow. Oh, Lady Bridget. Me. If we have found the Aegis, <laughs> then there is no time to waste. But I fear the passage has taken its toll on our engines. The Aegis? H how do you? Is there a problem? Doodle. Look at these girl bosses. Uh, not at all, your grace. Good. Now, you've captured a driver from Torna. I am going to speak with her. What? Uh, why do you want... Doodle. I don't remember asking for your opinion. Y yes, your <laughs> grace. I'll take you to her right away. <laughs> oh my god.
they are really girl bossing, gatekeeping, gas lighting, and I'm here for so, it. You are the Torna Ruffian. I must say you look a little different from your poster. <laughs> a little different. Whoever drew that should be the one in jail. <laughs> yes, I would be angry too. You can drop the friendly act. Mm. You won't name your friends. My friends? I'm not so sure I'd call those trigger happy toner goons friends. I see. I think we have our wires crossed here. I am not talking about Torna. Huh? You're not? No. I was referring to your more recent traveling companions. The driver boy and his blade. Rex and Pyra. Wow. That was easy. Wow. Damn it. <laughs> She's... Oops. Oh, no. <laughs> this looks like it could actually work. Wait, she's so cute. Good idea, Tora. Right. Let's look for friends of Rex Rex. This game is making me feel so many emotions. Like, why is Pyra so cute? She's got little ears. <laughs> I'm obsessed. These girl bosses don't stand on ceremony, but they can stand on me. So true. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Hold on, hold on, hold on. The way I am just trying so hard to get a good angle here. All right, all right, L. Dang it. Almost, I was almost there. No, don't move! Don't move! Stop moving! Where are you going? I'm trying to get a picture. Oh my god. Crap, crap, crap. I messed it up. Why does she keep moving? Okay. <laughs> I need to fix my camera. <laughs> She's so cute. I want to cook. Can we not cook anymore? I don't I think we can. Great menu idea. From what you I remember, we don't have a ton of ingredients. Yeah. Oh, it's a DLC costume. Wait, but I bought the expansion pack. So, or like, yeah, I think I bought the pack. Does that come with anything? Like, does it come with that? Come out, come out. Oh, you have to unlock it. Okay. <clears throat> she just looks really cute. It's killing me. Um. About this way. You have to unlock it as a reward. Oh, from a challenge mode. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I just bought the expansion pack so I could get Torna. But I didn't realize I didn't realize it came with a bunch of costumes too. That's really neat. Cutie. Have you heard anything about a girl called Nia who was captured by the Ardanians recently? Oh yeah, I heard about that. Some Ardanian dude was saying they were going to execute the prisoner within the next few days. No! Those Torna guys are pretty bad, right? I heard they killed loads of drivers to steal their core crystals. Pretty amazing if the Empire have really captured one of them. The Empire's so cool. Um... I wonder what they'll do with this execution thing anyway. Excuse me? I've got to go see for myself. You guys should come along too. Thank you so much. Pyro. Mm. Can we, like, I would like to tell this child what an execution is. <laughs> I 
Uh, okay, it's somewhere. Maybe it's up, actually. Yeah, it's up. I mean, to be fair, the child does not know what an execution is, so that's... That's not the kid's fault. Exclusive blades. Oh, cool! Oh my god, wait. He has this cute little, like, reading nook here, y'all. This is actually the coziest little house. It kind of reminds me of, like, Aladdin's little, what do you call it, hidden house thing. Kind of reminds me of that. A bad kitty. <clears throat> Hi, Kelly! Um, try to understand the Serena teapot. Any good guides? Well, <laughs> right now is like the worst time to get another Serena teapot, mostly because it's locked down right now. So I don't even know if you can actually access anything right now. Can I get there? Oh god, I fell into the water. I made a mistake. Oh wait, perfect actually. Yeah, yeah, next week I think you'll be able to, so. Have you heard anything about a girl called Nia who was captured by the Ardanians recently? Oh yeah, I heard something interesting. Apparently the torn of members that the Ardanian Empire captured was some Gormadi girl called a Nia. Nia. The name seems familiar somehow. Didn't the old Lord of Etchel a dead Actually, let's not talk about that. It's not a happy thing. <gasps> Is Nia a princess too? Or like something like a princess? No one answer that. But I did this, I did this with Melia and I was like, Is Melia a princess? And she was. I hope Nia's a princess, a princess kitty. It makes me so happy. <laughs> Have you heard anything about a girl called Nia who was captured by other Danes recently? Ah, sorry, I'm only really interested in plants. <laughs> I don't keep up with the latest rumors. I want to become a botanist and more more Ardane, but my parents keep saying it's too dangerous. It's been a whole decade now since more Ardane and Uriah sees hostilities. And sure, there's been this nasty group called Torna popping up in the news lately, but still, it's not like anything bad's gonna happen when where more Ardane and more Ardanes in charge. Doesn't this peaceful town prove that? You know what, Ellis? I get it. Sometimes you just... You just want to talk about plants only. Okay. I feel that. You simply want to ignore the world. <laughs> You've decided to hoard your primos? That's a good move. And I'm her prince. Hi, Calf. How are you? I think we have a couple of uh, resources about the Serena Teapot pinned in Discord, I think. And arrived. I don't know anything about that, but the grown-ups do seem to be talking about secret complicated stuff a lot lately. Apparently there are some kind of dangerous people causing trouble. It's only been 10 years since the war between Moor Ardane and Uriah ended. Why would they stir up more trouble? It sounds like a real pain. I hope the Ardenian soldiers will be able to protect us. Interesting. Yeah, you'll be guaranteed by then. Waiting for food? Ooh, heck yeah, ham noodles. Calf, I don't know if you ever sent me a recipe for ham noodles, but I very much want to try them. Did Rex 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 know? They were recruiting over there for new drivers. Yeah, I saw that earlier when we first arrived in the city. Rex Rex should try to. Chance of success, basically 100%. I'm wanted by the Ardanian Empire right now, remember? It seems like a bad idea to make myself conspicuous. Rex Rex make good points. Tora was just too curious to see what kind of blade Rex Rex awaken. At any rate, I don't need to awaken a blade, do I? I've already got Pyra. 
Come now, Rex. Don't tell me you thought drivers could only bond with a single blade. What? Is that not right? Not at all. Many drivers have more than one. With Nia gone, we're, on a, we're a bit short on numbers right now. We might not hold up all that well in a fight. Perhaps it would actually be a good idea to get yourself a new blade. A new blade opens up new possibilities in battle after all. Hmm. It would stop you from putting so much strain on Pyra as well. Seems like a good thing all around if you ask me. Well, if Pyra doesn't mind, I guess it couldn't hurt to try. I don't have any objections. The more the merrier. Then it settles. The question is, where are we going to get ourselves a core crystal? Now that's one question I can answer. I happen to have one stored away for just such an occasion. Where Gramps hide core crystal with such small body? The key to awaking a new blade is to foster a powerful resonance with the driver's spirit. Focus your whole mind on the core crystal as you touch it, and try to hold a clear picture in your mind of the blade you wish to awaken. I'm not sure I really understand, but I'll give it a try. I hope you awaken a wonderful blade. This is interesting. Rex. Do you want to resonate with it? With the awakening? Who's this? Ooh. I hope we'll be partners for a long time. Tama Yori. Is this random? Is this gotcha? <laughs> Oh, so it's literally a got it's a gotcha. Oh, thank you, Bookworm, for the hydrate. Oh my god. That's so interesting. It's free gotcha. <laughs> but only fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's hope you win your 50-50. No. <laughs> Hi, Jonathan. Oh, there is a hard pity. That's so interesting. Rex's ability to resonate with core crystals has been unlocked. You can bond with a blade at any time by going to main menu blades bond blade. Core crystals aren't much use just lying around, so it can't hurt to resonate with them and see what you get. Also, the higher a driver's luck stat value, the better their chance of awakening certain. Oh, cool. Once you have yourself a new blade, you'll need to engage it so that it can take part in battle. Add blades to your battle party in main menu, characters, character setup, engage blades. Okay. Okay. Um, you'll be able to engage a variety of other blades and expand your support options. To take advantage of different blades in battle, press the directional button corresponding to each blade's face icon to perform a blade switch. In no time at all, the blade who was previously supporting you will retreat and the new blade will take their place in the battlefields. Of course, switching blades will change both your weapon and your available arts. Different weapons have different benefits and drawbacks in battle, so use blades. Cool, okay. That looks like a good one. Meh meh, fur always stand on end whenever Taurus see driver resonate with crystals. So cool. <gasps> hey, don't look at me like that. You're making me feel weird. Well, looks like we've got a new recruit anyway. Let's go and find out what happened to Nia. Rex, not so fast. Huh, what's up? Aren't you going to kit your... Oh, kit, kit your new blade out. You can tune up the weapon with a core chip from that smithy there. If Rex Rex never used core chip before then, now very good time. I, I actually used one. You can really tell the difference between a driver who uses core chips and one who doesn't. I'm starting to understand. Now for the main topic. That over there is an ox core shop. I don't suppose you had a lot of call to go in there before you become became a driver. You're right about that. I used to wonder what all that strange gear was for, though. Perhaps we should head over and give it a try, then. 38 unique blades in the game and an infinite number of generic blades like the one you just got. Really? Rat, you're going to get every single character. Hope you'll get Mona soon. 
Every blade is fully voiced and it has their, their oh, it has a quest line. <gasps> what? I think you can get some free core crystals from the DLC. Oh, okay, so I can actually go now and get some? Oh, but expansion pass is many was full of spoilers. Uh oh. Just don't look too deep into the gift set. You can collect without spoilers. I can. What if I get Effigy to do it? There are all different types. Some boosts defense, some makes strong against insects, or stronger at nighttime. The number of ox cores you can equip varies from blade to blade. Mind. Interesting stuff. Now this is the important part to listen up. Usually when you get an ox core, it's an empty state. You won't boost your blade with it empty. Okay, so how do you fix that then? Huh, I see. So this gizmo here makes ox cores usable. You catch on fast. That's right, this machine takes collectibles and raw ox cores and refines them into something useful. Interesting. Here's one you can have a go with. I've been saving it for this very occasion. Rex Rex, best not to think about where he stash it. Yes, Tor is right about that. It's not much good without collectibles, though. Here. Meh meh. You really have a lot stashed away there. You're good to go, Rex. Refine it. Got it. As soon as you're as we're done. I was gonna say, like, aren't we supposed to be saving Mia? And I like how we're just <laughs> we're doing a bunch of stuff. <laughs> like, and we just learned that Mia's about to be executed, but it's fine. We'll, you know, summon another blade. We'll, you know, mess around with the ox cores. It's totally fine. This is this is absolutely fine. Okay. Um The gem machine? Oh. Effigy, are you done with work? Let's go shopping. Exactly. Wait. What the? Okay, and then I just... Do they all? I don't know which one I should be picking. I guess it doesn't really matter. Do I have a bunch of something? I have I have 10 of this. Oh wait, they just, that's right. He gave me some, just kidding, ignore me. Cool. This OST actually fits really well. I can see that. Since you're standing in front of the ox core shop, let's revisit the top of the ox cores for a moment. At shops like these, you can get your ox cores refined. You'll need collectible items to refine ox cores. The number of collectible items you'll need is defined individually for each ox core. Once you have all the collectibles you need, you can head to the shop to get your ox core refined. But watch out, the higher the value of the ox core, the more difficult it is to likely to Okay. Um. Don't kill it. You can farm core crystals from it late in game, but if you kill it early, you can't do that anymore. Oh, you can still kill it. Okay. Um, equip ox cores. Don't kill the baby. Oops, I keep going to the wrong menu. I'll work my ass off to meet your expectations. I'll work my ass off. Can you do something for me? Because, so I'm trying to get some items I got from the expansion pack, but apparently there's spoilers in the expansion pass menu. 
So people are saying that I can get the stuff, but like, uh, it, I'll get spoiled. Like, big spoilers. So, can you get it without me looking? Actually, y'all can tell Effigy what to get because he doesn't know what to get. Hold on, hold on, let me leave. I don't know. Oh my god, why is it so tight? Am I doing this? Alright, what? Collect... Do I just collect all rewards then? Wait, I don't even see it collect all rewards. Oh wait, receive all? Just receive all, right? It doesn't matter, does it? Well, why couldn't she could have just done that without even looking? Press A on it to see what it is. But somebody said just to do it all. Hello. How is this spoiler, though? Yeah, I guess we just do it all. Wow. Names. Oh. Oh, for all this stuff down here? won't see this in her inventory though I mean what the heck oh my god there's a lot of junk in here Ugh. I guess that's it is it everything wait why is it oh she can't even get some of the stuff because she's not I don't know Challenge mode. Challenge mode. What? 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 Challenge mode. What? Do that, or am I supposed to do that? <laughs> because uh, that's a big question mark thing there. You need me to do something? Blades. No. Move people. Nope. Oh, okay. I guess we're done.
Oh gosh. Hi, we're back. Sorry, Coke is, Coke is here. Coke, I'm a puppy. Oh, we got you, we got you in the bed. Go check out your new bed. Go check it out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, um, Effigy knows the ending. Okay, but that's actually something that Effigy does do sometimes. He'll look at the endings for me, and so he knows what's gonna happen. He won't tell me, like, he won't spoil it. Koga, try your new bed. Lie down. Bed? Koga got a bed for the office. Well, actually, Pixel, too, because Pixel can use it. Pixel has her own bed, so... Koga. Go down. Go down. Go down. Here. Down. 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 Good boy. Good boy. Wait. Oh, are you not from the Heartless? Wait. <laughs> Does he like it? No, you got up! He just wants to give me some love. Down. Baby. Oh yes, please no spoilers or anything like that, Baxi Gaming. Okay, um... D d so am I good to, how do I use the, oh, did I get a bunch of money too? From the expansion pass? Fifty K, holy heck. Let's go. How do I get to summoning stuff? I don't know how many I have. Okay, and now we have RNG. We can use our Lord Bless. I have a lot. get wait is this the same one or no it's different because she's using a like a spear I'll give you my all Suzu mm. so is it oh wait do should I not use them all Don't use them all. Okay. I've got your back, so don't worry. So what are the differences between So I have um wait, hold on. I have legendary and rares, so does this like increase my chance of getting something really good? It's not a guarantee. Okay. What if I... So, what if I... I'm going to use one of these on him. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> oh, did I get something? Did it take off its head? What is going on? I will eat everything that Allrest has to offer. Did eat everything? Okay, but I definitely feel that in my heart. Um so I can only equip three or two right now, I'm guessing. Yep. Just leave it to Boreas. <laughs> I got Kirby. He big. Okay. Should I do another one or... Stop there. <clears throat> you can't eat my cashews. No. You can't have any. You can't have it. You're... You're gonna get in trouble. I know, you're gonna get in trouble. I love you. You are the best. If I want. Okay, then I could stop. Okay, I'll do one more. The same as Bridget? this lower your gaze underling you have the honor of being my driver this is a very big moment for you don't blow it hmm um I got a really good one. Okay, so Boreas or Dagus? Two five stars back to back. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna stop there for um for Rex. Hi, Seven. I'm loving it. Um, I've been using Mia. So I'm not really sure. Hi, Cypher. Boreas on the bench. Okay, so Boreas is a good healer. So is Dagus like more offensive then? You need a good boy. Koga. What, Koga, why are you lying? Why aren't you using your bed? Why aren't you using your bed, Koga? He's lying down on the floor. Heals would be nice. Okay, so use Boreas instead right now. Okay. All right. I'll do that then. And then we'll save the rest. Oh shoot, actually I need to get some more core chips, I guess. Oh, so should I so should I not use the critical hit rate one since he sounds like he's more focused on healing? It shows their role. Wait, where? Cocopia, why are you biting your booty? You're so cute, I love you so much, you're such a baby. Under his name. Oh, HLR, oh, okay. HLR healer, gotcha.
Okay, okay, okay. Then I guess I'll I'll put it on him. For now, and then I can always change it later. Um, does Pyra have an, have an ox yet? Um, let me see. No, I'm gonna have to get some, I'm gonna have to do some more. He just bumped his head on the mic. Oh my god, Koga. Koga, Koga. <laughs> I like how he jumps down whenever Effigy comes in, because he's... He's my baby. He's my baby. Where are you moving it for? Hi, Eric. How are you? He doesn't recognize it as his bed yet. What is this? Dog gaming channel wed. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. A throw a fireball with an art with an arcade stick. What? Oh, so you get a special blade with this one. Okay, that's another rare blade. Interesting. Very ex very expensive. Oh, hold on, there's one over here. Actually, shoot, actually y'all, it's 5.30. I should probably stop here. I know that we're in the middle of a quest, but I'm thinking that I should probably stop here. <laughs> I feel like if I go any longer, then I'm probably gonna end up like playing for longer and I, I need to go eat dinner and stuff. Like I just ate a snack, but like I'm still starving. So I know, but 